Hey, it's Kyle here. Today I'll be reviewing the Bad Batch episode, Flash Strike. If you haven't seen this episode yet, please stop watching this review. Go watch the episode and then come back and watch this because this will include spoilers. And trust me, you do not want this episode spoiled. With that warning out of the way, let's get started talking about Flash Strike. I think one of the main things people were speculating, like, would this happen in the last couple episodes of the Bad Batch, was revealed... Probably about halfway through the episode, oh yes, it's, it's going to happen, and that is we are getting the Zillow Beasts back. Um, a lot of people have been wondering if that would play into the uh, this attempted escape, or hopefully successful escape from Mount Tentis. Um, I think a lot of people were <laughs> kind of worried based on what happened with like, the Clone Wars and stuff, that like maybe they introduced the Zillow Beasts in, earlier in the Bad Batch and we just would never see it again. Uh, but I think most people, myself included, kind of like, yeah, since they, we know it's at Tantus, it's probably going to be in the last couple episodes some way. We just don't know how big. But it looks like from this tease, it's going to be in it big time. And to me, it's very cool. It's, it's something very similar to what um, myself and Alex and Molly at Star Wars Explained speculated last week when I was a part of their um, after show for last week's episode. Um, we kind of were talking about, like, you know, we could see as Omega uh, sneaking through the walls of Mount Tantus that maybe she comes across the Zilla Beast and tries to figure out some way to incorporate it into the attempted escape, which is exactly what happens. I know this happens midway through the episode, but to me this is the big thing this episode, so I definitely wanted to talk about it first. Um, so the moment that she kind of looked through, like, the little port and saw the Zilla Beast and how it was being kept, and you could instantly see her, like, oh, <laughs> I'm, I got an idea. <laughs> um, and then when she gets back to the other kids who are being held in captivity, and she's like, you know, I, you know, I, I have a plan, but I need your help. I think we now know what the plan is. Um, so we know what Omega's plan is. Um, just don't, or I should say we mostly know what Omega's plan is. At the moment, the more I'm sure, it's like, what else is going on with the rest of the batch? I don't know how they're going to attempt to escape. And if one thing, when you, you have conflicting plans, your hope is like, the plans end up complementing each other by accident, you know. Not, you know, like, oh, something Omega does actually screws up something that the Batch is going to do, and it's going to result in um, somebody not making it. Uh, which would be very, very sad. The one part of Omega's plan I'm kind of curious about, but when she's telling the other kids about it, and she says, like, I'm going to need your help, I am very curious to see what that involves. Because, like, Omega's aware... These kids don't really have training like she does. Um, we're not really aware if they can even really control their force powers or not. Um, so how Omega's planning for them to be involved in the plan will be very interesting. Mainly because, you know, Omega's not going to do anything that she thinks is going to put them in danger. So it's not like she's going to like, oh, I'm going to sacrifice y'all so I can get away. She, she wants them to do something that can help her escape, but also them escape. Um, so I'm kind of curious what it is. Like, is it them kind of being a delaying tactic in the the lab as Omega escapes through the wall and then she comes back and gets them? Is are she going to try to have them go through the wall? Because I'm not sure how that would go. It's very. I'm very curious to see how they're involved in the escape plan. Um, probably the next biggest reveal of the episode is Echo and Emery meeting. Um, I really enjoyed how Echo got off the science festival. It was actually <laughs> something I mentioned in the after show last week on Star Wars Explained. That I was always kind of a little confused that the Batch just never picked up regular troopers' armors and kind of used that as disguise. Whoa, in this week's episode, we see Echo do that. When he's on the vessel, he puts on a uh, regular trooper's armor and he even steals a hand off a droid so he's covering, off, covering up his <laughs> missing digit. And um, he escapes through the same um, droid entry point that he actually got onto the ship. But his disguise allows him to kind of get around Tanta space until he's in the lab and Emery discover, discovers him. But she quickly um, recognizes him, probably because I think it seemed like she saw his hand before he put the, the glove back on. And it's clear she wants to help. Now, she could be just trying to con, like, Echo into like, well, I can't beat him in a fight. I need to trick him into thinking I'm on his side until I can turn him over. But I have a feeling from all the stuff we've seen with her this season that she is ready to help and ready to side with the clones and stuff. So now you're going to have a, another plan with Echo and Emery. Uh, of course, Echo is aware 
that the other members of the batch out there, so hopefully he'll try to connect. And also I should say Omega is aware as well. She heard the laser blasters and obviously she knows the batch is also out there. But you know, there's like, how are they communicating? <laughs> um, and I guess the third part is uh, the rest of the batch, uh, um, Crosshair, uh, Hunter and Wrecker, and um, Five Side Moral Rampart, uh, kind of running through the jungles of, <laughs> of Tantus. Um, the part I'm kind of curious about to see how it plays in the finale, Rampart gets separated and he is captured. How will that come into play in the finale? Now, there's not really a plan, so it's not like he can like sell out their plan to the Imperials. So I'm not, I don't think that will play into it. But, you know, is there a thing where like he's taken to some control room and they're attempting to interrogate him and as they're distracted, as the Batch is trying to do something, does he help them? Does he finally take the step to like, I'm going to look out for somebody else, not just myself. Because he mentioned at one point when he has a moment of a crosshair, which I thought was maybe one of the more cooler conversations in the entire episode, where he's basically telling Crosshair, like, like me and you are similar. We only have loyalty to ourselves. We don't look out for other people. You know, Crosshair, so like, you're wrong about me. I've changed. Will we see Rampart change in the family? Will he have a moment where he goes like, you know what? I'm going to do something to help these others. Now, he could do it from a selfish reason, like, I'm going to do something to help these others because it screws over the Empire, and I hate the Empire because they threw me in prison, but who knows. So the finale looks like it should be an action-packed uh, escape attempt. Um, I do think we'll get Omega off Tantus. I think it will be a successful escape. What I'm still not sure about is, is everybody's going to make it. And I have, I've had the feeling the entire season, I think, like, at least one member of the batch it's not going to make it. I think somebody's going to have to sacrifice himself so the rest can get off. Um, Tanta, so I don't know who that is. I've been kind of leaning towards it being Hunter, um, but I don't know. Hopefully they'll all make it off. Hopefully my prediction's wrong, but if I had to predict, I'm a little worried about Hunter. So that was my review for this episode. Um, let me know what did you think about um, this episode in the comment section below and what do you think um, is going to be the key to their escape attempt for Mount Tantus? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this review, please hit the like button. If you have yet, please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate the support. Thanks for watching. I'll see you the next time. And may the force be with you.